Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game from Scratch with a special holiday edition of Humble Bundle. Yes, there is a new Humble Bundle available. And when I say new, I mean new-ish. Now, this bundle actually happened about a year plus ago, but that's actually not a really big deal in this case because if you redeemed it a little bit over a year ago, this was for a year's subscription. So your subscription has expired at this point in time anyways. And also, it looks like the contents of this bundle have changed slightly from when it was run a little bit over a year ago. So that is also different. Now, unfortunately, I'm calling this a holiday edition because where I am, the internet is a little spotty. So I'm not going to go hands-on with the courses that you get here, but if you check out the video for the last bundle, I will link that down below. It will show you uh, what happens when you log into Zenva's website, what the courses look like. And the great thing is you get a full text version to go along with the courses. So you get a video course, and you get a text course, and you get some project files and so on. So you get, if you per prefer to read to learn, you have that option. If you prefer video guided tour, you have that option as well. So as mentioned, this is a collection of courses from Zenva. If you're new to Humble, the way this basically works is it's a collection of stuff, in this case courses. You can decide how your money is allocated. You can have it go to the original publisher, to charity, to Humble, and if you so choose, and by the way, thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. And it's broken down into a number of different tiers. Now again, the way this one works is you get an unlock for that tier. So if you buy the $1 tier, you get an unlock code, you go over to Zenva's site, register it, and then you get access to all of the courses you see at the $1 tier. If you buy the highest dollar tier, you get an unlock code. It's still a single code, but it gives you basically everything that you see. And we're looking here at the $1 tier, we've got the bite-sized HTML, the bite-sized CSS, bite-sized of course meaning that they're smaller in scope courses, bite-sized Python, introduction to game development with Unity, and introduction to Java for mobile development. So you get a pretty good cross sections of things there for just one buck. Now do keep in mind, these are of course smaller, much, much shorter courses, these three, and these are more full size, but again, they're introductory level courses. So if you already know Unity or you already know Java, you might not get a lot out of them, but you get a pretty good selection of training here for a $1 tier. Now we jump up to the next tier and that tier is $12. So again, if you buy the $12 tier, you get everything here at the $1 tier as well. And this tier at the $12 tier, you get the complete beginner's JavaScript course, a bite size. So once again, a slightly smaller course on NumPy, a numerics library for Python, bite sized pandas. Um, you get reading data with uh, from APIs with Python, create your first 3D game with Unity, intro to RPG development with Phaser. Now, if you're not aware of Phaser at all, it is an HTML5 media framework. It is probably my favorite HTML5 uh, game frameworks out there. So it's nice to see those courses available there. Uh, we got Kotlin for beginners, and then we've got iOS development for beginners as well. Now, Kotlin is a JVM-based language made by uh, JetBrains, the people that make uh, IntelliJ and uh, ReSharper, uh, CLion, and all those other IDEs. They also made their own Java-based language. It's one I checked out when it was first released. It's developed a lot since I haven't really jumped back in. So that would definitely be of some use for me. And then finally, we get into the maximum tier. And once again, if you buy the maximum tier, you get a product key that gets you everything you just saw. So you only have to redeem one key, not like 30. Uh, at the this tier, you get responsive web design for beginners, building JavaScript applications with Vue.js, web scraping with Python and beautiful soup, uh, beginning SQL, store and query your data, complete Python data visualization course, RPG development quest systems, uh, mobile game development for beginners, build a micro RPG, uh, construct a first person shooter, Craft a Mario style platformer once again in Phaser 3, uh, develop a top down action RPG with Phaser 3, and the complete mobile app development course with Flutter. Flutter is a uh, UI or windowing library made by the Google team. It's kind of a, I, I don't know, it's kind of like QT, but you use Dart as your programming language. And my explanation might be absolutely crap, to be honest, because I haven't looked at Flutter as much as I hope to. If you're wondering, the micro RPG course here is in Unity, as is the first person shooter course. So from a game developer perspective, you're mostly looking at Phaser, Phaser, uh, and then we got Unity, Unity. Uh, I believe this again is Unity here, but I'm not 100% certain there. Yep, Unity as well. Uh, then we get into, uh, I believe it's Unity. And then you get some stuff here that is kind of relevant, even if you're not into uh, those particular things. Like if you're working, you may need to do database back end. So beginning SQL could be useful to you. You might have to create a website for what you're doing. So responsive web design could still be useful to you. Uh, then we come back here again, Kotlin is that JVM based language. Nothing specifically about game development, but it is another programming language out there. Then we got Phaser and we got Unity again. And then we got Unity here again. And then we've got kind of a collection of programming languages and technologies all being 
being covered as part of this course. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, this actually has run once before. You can actually see that this bundle is actually quite a bit different. The previous bundle had almost a completely different set of courses. So you can see over here, your $1 tier, you have the introduction to game development overlap, and that is basically it. Uh, then you kind of even, if we look up to the $25 tier, you're going to see we had RPG game development turn-based battle systems. This time we have a different course in this selection, and that is the RPG development quest system. So obviously they have more courses over on Zenva, uh, but this bundle, even if you did pick up the previous one, it does seem to be mostly a completely different set of courses. Unfortunately, again, I can't go hands-on with the courses in this particular video, but I did do so in the last version. So if you want to see what the courses look like, what the syllabus looks like, like, you know, how you log in, what your learning experience will be like, I do jump into one of the courses so you can see what their website looks like in that video. I will link that down below as well. Uh, it's definitely an interesting looking project. I would say about 50-50 between game development and related technologies, but there's absolutely nothing here that I would consider completely useless. So, you know, HTML is good to learn. CSS is good to learn. Python is good to learn. Um, Java, I guess, is a little niche depending on, you know, if you're going to be doing Android development, Java is definitely useful to know. I have no idea what Pandas is, to be honest. I'm not doing any numeric programming, but JavaScript, a complete beginner's course of JavaScript is definitely useful, especially if you're going to be working with um, the phaser libraries because you're going to be either using JavaScript or TypeScript at that point in time. So you got a pretty good selection of courses here. And from what I've seen, the courses do seem pretty decent. I like the way they're set up. I like the fact that you get all the text materials to go along with it instead of just being a video course. So yeah, that is this week's bundle. Let me know what you think of it in general. It's uh, you know it's a pretty good deal at the $25 tier. Now, of course, you're gonna see at the top here, they've always got their ad terms of worth this much, but all of these course sites are always set up, and so is Udemy, so are other people kind of around the idea of sale pricing. But as you saw, these guys only had a bundle one year ago, so this bundle is in fact a quite solid deal. And the cool thing is it's also a kind of, you know, there's some overlap, but it is a different bundle. So even if you picked up on that one, this should still be useful to you. So if you're looking for a guided learning source and you haven't found it yet, uh, this Zenva bundle might be what you're looking for. So that is the Learn to Code bundle. I don't really like the name. I wish they'd gone with something different, but uh, yeah, that's what it is. Let me know what you think of it in general. Have you used Zenva courses or did you pick up the last bundle? And if so, what did you think of it? Uh, let me know all these things in the comments down below and I'll talk to you all later. All right, back to my vacation. See ya. Goodbye.